He just said, um, you've been exposed to asbestos, unfortunately it's incurable. Rose has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, an asbestos-related cancer with a 2% survival rate. My first thought was, gosh, too young to die, because they said it was incurable. And obviously, I was scared as how I could explain this to my daughters, my two daughters. For generations, asbestos was commonly used in buildings up to 1999. I did know of asbestos, but I didn't feel threatened by... It was threatening me, because I didn't even know about it, much about it, really. Did you ever think it would be the kind of illness that you could ever get or someone Never. that you could ever get? Absolutely not. Never. Never crossed my mind at all. Although banned for over 20 years, asbestos is still causing a shocking number of mortalities. There are over 5,000 asbestos-related deaths per year in the UK, and it's estimated that around 300,000 non-domestic buildings contain some form of asbestos, including schools, community centres and hospitals, and up to one million domestic premises. Unions are calling on the government to remove all asbestos in public buildings to protect workers, especially construction workers who are the most likely to be affected. The government's current policy is that asbestos is safe if it's left in situ and it's not disturbed. But we would say asbestos will always be disturbed, especially in buildings like schools where you've got children running around that are falling apart. A lot of schools are at risk of collapse currently. It needs to be removed. We contacted the Department of Work and Pensions for comment, but they deferred us to the Health and Safety Executive, which said that rushing to remove asbestos from buildings would pose more risk than managing it safely, but MPs want to see tougher action and specific targets to rid the UK of this deadly substance. First of all, I'd like a register of all buildings, all types of buildings throughout the UK that has asbestos. And then the second thing, let's set a timetable to get rid of this stuff out of, out of homes and out of businesses and out of public buildings across the whole of the country. For people like Rose, the growing calls for change will be a welcome step in the right direction. It's taking too many lives, losing too many people through this. Mari Aurora, Sky News.